Hey Hooper Hawks, it's me, Isla. So right now, um, I am participating in the summer reading challenge. So I am reading on a rainy day. Um, so um, I'm going to read to you guys today, Little Red Riding Hood. So I hope you'll enjoy the story. Little Red Riding Hood. There one there was once a sweet and happy little girl whose granny had made her a lovely red cape with a hood. The little girl loved it so much that she wore it everywhere she went. Soon, everyone became so used to her wearing it that they named her Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, said her, said her mother one morning, Granny is not feeling very well. Take her this basket of food and see if you can cheer her up. Little Red Riding Hood loved to visit her granny, so she took the basket of food and set off right away. Go straight to granny's house and don't talk to any strangers, her mother called for after her. Don't worry, sang Little Red Riding Hood as she went merrily on her way. So, um, yeah guys, I hope you can enjoy the story. Little Red Riding Hood skipped skipped off through the woods. The sun was shining. The birds were chirping in the treetops. And she didn't have a care in the world. Very soon, she met a wolf. Well, hello there, said the wolf in a silky, slow voice, low voice. And where are you off? To on this fine morning, I'm going to visit my granny," replied Little Red Riding Hood, forgetting her mother's warning. She's not feeling well, and I'm taking her this food to make her better. The wolf licked his lips. "Where, where does your dear old granny live?" asked the wolf. "She lives in a cottage at the other side of the woods," replied the Little Red Riding Hood. "It has pretty roses." growing around the door is that so said the wolf why it sounds lovely okay, and there were some beautiful wild flowers growing in the woods and little red riding hood stopped to admire them why don't you pick a pretty bunch of flowers for your granny suggested the wolf that's a good suggestion to make her feel better little red riding hood thought that was a good idea and stooped down to pick some as she was busy choosing the prettiest flowers the wolf strolled away down the path his tummy rumbled loudly at the end of the path he saw a cottage with roses growing around the door just as Little Red Riding Hood had said, the wicked old wolf knocked on the door. Come right in, my darling, called the grandmother, thinking that it was Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf walked into the cottage. Before the grandmother had a chance to call for help, the wicked creature opened its huge jaws and swallowed her whole. That's crazy. Then he climbed into her bed, pulled the covers up under his chin, and waited. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood reached the granny's house with her basket of food and a beautiful bunch of wildflowers. Won't granny be pleased to see me, she thought as she knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Come in, my darling, replied a strange croaky voice. Poor granny, thought Little Red Riding Hood. She doesn't sound at all well. Little Red Riding Hood looked in the kitchen, but her granny wasn't there. She looked in the sitting room. Her granny wasn't there either. Finally, she went into the granny, her granny's bed, and uh, she gasped in surprise. So, guys, let's flip the page. Granny exclaimed, Little Red Riding Hood. Your ears are absolutely enormous. All the better to hear you with my dear, replied the low, silky voice. And your eyes are as big as saucers, gulped the little red riding hood. 
And all the better to see you with, replied a rumbling, growly voice. And your teeth are so pointed, gasped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, snarled a loud, hungry voice. The wicked old wolf leaped out of bed and gobbled Little Red Riding Hood in one big gulp. Ne then he lay down on the bed and fell fast asleep. Luckily, a woodcutter was working nearby, and he heard some very loud growly snoring sounds coming from the little cottage. I don't like the sound of that, he thought, with his axe at with his axe at the ready, he crept into the grandmother's house. He tiptoed on into the bedroom and the wolf and found the wolf fast asleep with his tummy bulging to fit to burst. You wicked old wolf, cried the woodcutter, what have you done? He tipped the wolf upside down and shook him as hard as he could. Out fell a very dazed little red riding hood followed by her poor old granny. Whoa. And the next turn the page. It was so dark in there, cried the little girl. Thank you for saving us. But Little Red Riding Hood's granny was furious. She chased the wolf out of her bedroom, through the cottage, and out into the woods. The woodcutter and the Little Red Riding Hood followed close behind her. What? <laughs> The wolf never returned, and the little and little red riding hood never spoke to strangers ever again. Guys, so if you meet any strangers out there, don't talk to them, guys, because who knows? Probably they might do something bad. So, guys, bye. I hope you like the fable. Fable means like a tale. Bye.